She's worked at North Central for eight years. She serves as NCTC's marketing manager. Amy Phelps is January's NCTC employee spotlight. I started working for NCTC in 2007. Um, I was hired as the marketing manager. Um, there was another lady here who did a lot of the PR stuff, So, um, but she only um, worked here for about four months after I started, and that was Brenda. Everybody knew Brenda Hyatt, your mom. Uh, she, was, she worked here for 45 years, um, had a lot of responsibilities, um, very well known out in the community. So um, that was a little bit of a sh shock, not that she retired after 45 years, but that um, I got to take on her responsibilities as well um, after I started here. And um, that's been a lot of fun. You know, I get to do the marketing part of it and I also get to do the PR and the community involvement part of it. And I love people. I love talking to people. I love being around people. Um, and I love North Central. So it's just, it's a good combination. Talk about maybe what would be like a normal day for you. Like maybe, maybe you go in today and what kind of things will you be doing today on your job? Um, today, um, I have a meeting at here in a little bit, and then I'll have another meeting after that. And after that, um, I'll, I'll probably need to answer some phone calls. People call me if they want money uh, for donation sponsorships out in the community. Um, I do a lot of advertising, um, all the billboards and newspaper ads. Um, the uh, any commercial on the radio you hear we put those together and um, we have a great voice for that here <laughs> at, at North Central and we um, you know typically no day is the same um, of course like I say I had I have a couple meetings today but tomorrow may be wide open mm -hmm. um, the next day I may be out in the community doing something the next day I may be in the office um, doing um, ads and I get the uh, the title of resident proofreader here, I guess, too, because um, a lot of people call me the grammar Nazi, but I like to think of myself as a grammar princess or grammar <laughs> queen. Um, but I, I do, um, that. that is one of my biggest, um, I wouldn't say it's really a blessing and a curse, but um, you know, I can't read anything without um, mentally marking it up in my head. <laughs> Well, it's very important. You have to proofread for sure. Now, you also work on the calendar that NCTC puts out every year too, correct? Yes, we put out a calendar every year. Um, we we uh, get our uh, customers to submit photos and we get great photos every year. And it's mm -hmm. really hard to put the calendar together because there's some pictures that don't get to go in the calendar, but they're still great. And um, I also, I, I'm not good with um, rejection. I don't like telling people no. So sometimes we'll use extra pictures on the back because they're so good. They're just mm -hmm. so many. Um, and I just feel so bad that we can't use them all. So sometimes we'll save them and maybe use them for other things throughout the year. Of course, we uh, try to be very cognizant of the fact that Facebook is such a very important part of social media now. And talk about the contest, the, the bingo contest that we've had the last couple of summers. And people have really, really loved that, haven't they? Oh, yeah. People love bingo. They they start asking as soon as we're finished with one game. They, they want to start another. But we give away um, really good prizes, and people really get into it. Um, that's been one of our, our big social media successes. And I do handle you know most of our social media posting as well. And, and and, you know with others here too and talk about your family uh, tell me who's who's part of that big family that Amy likes to go home to oh uh, well I have a huge family starts with um, you know I have two brothers and um, when I was younger I, I had um, a nephew when I was 10 so um, you know I've grown up with with a large family and extended family my brothers were married when I was younger so I've always had two sisters as well and then um, later on of course I thought that I would never um, love I could never love my own child more than I did my nephews or you know and at that time I only had nephews but um, I found this guy at Office Max and uh, <laughs> we um, anyway we started dating and eventually got married um, we both what, what is this guy's name this guy's name is Jason he um, he and I went to Tennessee Tech and met there of course like I say Office Max mm -hmm. um, we worked there but um, I think that's just a funny story I tell everybody I met him at Office Max but um, we have two wonderful children who um, 
are hilarious and into everything. Um, Jacob is 12 and he plays football and golf. Um, he's a good student. He's sweet and kind hearted. Um, he's just just a great kid. And then his sister is hilarious. She's seven. Um, her name is Ashlyn. She's um, she's very um, energetic and um, just so funny and into everything and uh, we don't know what her her thing is yet she's still finding it and one day i know she'll she'll do something <laughs> but we don't know what she's what she really loves right now she likes to draw and sing and and write but well, she's seven she'll decide i'm sure yeah. uh, now when you walk into your office you also see about i think i counted yesterday about 12 pictures of one uh, keith urban uh, what's the attraction there amy <laughs> well um there are a lot of a lot, there are lots of attractions to Keith Urban. I think a lot of people would agree. Um, he's just a very talented musician, and I like music, all kinds of music. Um, one of the things about uh, Keith, though, is um, you know he he didn't just get lucky getting where he is today. He had to work very hard, and he had some very dark times in his life, and he's he's overcome came them. So I just feel like, you know, he's a good role model, even though he did have some issues earlier on in his life. He, you know, he's married, he has two children, and you never hear an interview where he doesn't talk about them, and he's not, you know, proud of you know, where he's came and he's very humble. You know, he has who knows how many millions of dollars and mm -hmm. anything he wants. But, you know, I love watching him on American Idol because he likes to give good feedback. He knows what he's talking about. You know, he could just be like, you know, I'm great and, you know, who cares? But he really cares. I mean, I feel mm -hmm. like he really cares about other people and wants them to succeed as well. So, you know, so aside from the fact that he's he's nice looking, that he's a great musician, I mean, there, there's more to people than than all that. I think. Safe to say, you've been to at least one of his concerts. Yeah, or three or four or five. Yes, <laughs> been to a few. Well, now back to the job here for a second. We'll get serious again for a second. I mean, of course, you said already that you you love working here. We're all very fortunate who work here for sure. Uh, would, do you see yourself retiring here? Would you like to retire here? I absolutely hope to retire here. Um, North Central is a great place to work. Um, you know, when I was in college, I, I have um, I have an MBA. I went to graduate school and. Um, some of the um, classes there are a little different. You know, um, I had one part of a class, which was a major part of it, was an interview uh, type situation, and you either made 100 or zero, passed or failed. Mm -hmm. So we had to create a job position that we wanted and interview for it with these people who really knew nothing about the job that you you had um, created but you had to interview for it and based on that was your grade you either passed or failed so um, I created this position it was called the marketing manager at North Central Telephone Cooperative in Lafayette Tennessee and of course I went to Tennessee Tech so I thought that that would be safe because they wouldn't really know what the that job entailed or what people at North Central did. So so I created this job and went to interview for it and I passed and got the job there. But um, when I actually got the job here, I went back to that time and thought, that's so crazy. That's just so ironic that, you know, that really has happened and I have that job. Um, so literally a dream come true for me to work here. Amy Phelps, this month's NCTC Employee Spotlight, reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.